Hello, hi, welcome back to our channel MPEDU. Myself Rama Obrath, Chemistry Lecturer. In the previous video, we discussed about whites in the solid. Uh, today classes, we are going to discuss about imperfections in solids or it is known as defects in solid. The word imperfection or defects itself says, what are the things we are discussed in this video, okay? There is no perfection in anything in the world. So, there is a something, uh, def uh, some defects or some imperfections is observed. In a solid matters also, we observed imperfection or defects. Uh, the entire row or in around one particle, the imperfection or defect is possible. So, in the solids, what are the different types of imperfection or defects are observed? Okay, let us first we discussed about the types of the defects. The solids defects are for classified into mainly two types. One is point defects and another one is line defect. The point defect word itself says around any one point, let us point or particle one particle around one particle there is a de deviation or irregularity or missing of the particle take place point effects are the irregularities or deviation from ideal arrangement around a point or an atom in crystalline substance okay next uh, the second type is line defects line defects is uh, the defects or irregularity observed around uh, one, uh, through one row or one column. Okay, during the packing of the crystal, uh, one entire row shows some deviation, missing up of the particle, or through one column we observe the deviation. Such type of defects are classified as line defects. Line defects are the irregularities or deviation from ideal arrangement in entire row or lattice point we already know that solid or crystalline solids means particles are orderly arranged the order arrangement uh, is disturbed after the defects this defect is uh, or imperfections in solid is observed because of uh, change in the temperature during the packing or pressure or any external energy uh, so these are causes the imperfections or defects in the solid first we discussed about the point defects because according to your ncrt syllabus only point defects is given first uh, the classification of point defects point defects are classified into three types the first type of point defect is stoichiometric defect. Second type is non-stoichiometric defect. And the third one is impurities or impurity defects. The first one, stoichiometric defect. Word itself says stoichiometry balanced. Okay. So, uh, defects after the defects, solid is balanced. How? Okay. The question is arises. I am consider one uh, example sodium chloride crystal it is made up of Na plus Cl minus ions this sodium chloride crystal contains sodium and chloride ions suppose one crystal piece contains sodium chloride crystal piece contains 10 sodium ion just imagine and 10 chloride ions at that condition there is no defect suppose this uh, sodium chloride undergo crystallization and become a uh, packing uh, undergo packing and become a own crystal during the packing due to change in the temperature sudden change in the temperature or pressure pressure means during the packing suppose you are still uh, or temperature is changed uh, due to any one thing or property the sodium chloride crystal undergo imperfection or defects how 
due to change in sudden change in the temperature suppose one sodium and one chloride ion is evaporated or due to the pressure the one sodium ion and one chloride ion out of 10 one sodium and one chloride ion does not undergo packing then it become only 9 sodium and 9 chloride ion undergo packing so at that time there is a vacant space because early it contains 10 then it become 9 the vacant space or missing up of particle is observed but ratio of cation and anion remains same just observe the ratio of cation and anion during this defect okay please correctly understand the concept of stoichiometry word stoichiometry okay cation early cation is 10 cation sodium anions are 10 anions negative ions the ratio of cation and anion become 1 correct and after the defect how much there are 9 cation and 9 anions so it become 1 ratio remains same and the electrical neutrality of the solid is maintained electrical neutrality what is the meaning of electrical neutrality how much cations are there same number of anions should remains in the solid then we call it as electrical neutrality and the na nature or the type of cation and anion remains same early 10 sodium and 10 chloride after the defect is 9 sodium 9 chloride so the type of cation and anion ratio remains same and the charge positive charge early 10 and the, uh, 10 cation and 10 anion after the defect same 9 positive 9 negative the electrical neutrality is maintained such type of defect is known as stoichiometric defects so this is the stoichiometric defect okay. next uh, uh, non stoichiometric defect the stoichiometry of the stoichiometry of the solid is disturbed but electrical neutrality is maintained electrical neutrality maintained means how much positive charges are there same number of negative charge remains same it may be a different ions or it may be an electron suppose the one there is a missing up of one anion take place in the place of anion one electron is acquire the place of negative then the neutrality is maintained please understand the concept of electrical neutrality and the type of cation and anion suppose the ratio of type of cation and anion remains same then it is stoichiometry in this case electrical neutrality is maintained but in non stoichiometric thing type of cation and type of anion is different not same non stoichiometry okay balance not take place the balance of what balance of cation and anion type or or the particle nature is not balanced the negative particle is replaced by the electron such type of uh, defect is known as non stoichiometric defect after the considering the example and all that you completely understand the concept of non stoichiometric defect okay it's very easiest thing and it is a theoretical part uh, last one is impurity defect impurity defect is the positive or negative ion is replaced by any other positive or negative ion in all the cases remember the thing a uh, very important thing is friends in the stoichiometry non stoichiometry and the impurity in all the three defects electrical neutrality is maintained positive ion and negative charge or positive charge and negative charge remain same but the 
type of cation and the anion may change in non stoichiometry or impurities defects so these are the three types of point defects so this is the very important concept for uh, your uh, uh, theory exam purpose as well as for your competitive exam first we discussed about stoichiometric defect okay let us uh, go to the stoichiometric defects uh, the stoichiometric defect is also known as thermodynamical defect mainly it is happens because of change in the temperature or temperature dependent it is therefore stoichiometry defect is also known as thermodynamical defect the classification of uh, stoichiometric defects these are further classified into four types okay there are four types of stoichiometric defects what are they uh, first one is vacancy defect and second one is interstitial defect third one is scott key defect and the last one is frankel defect uh, the first two as exactly similar to the third and fourth one okay so let us discuss about this one vacancy interstitial scott key and frankel the first two is for non metallic sorry non ionic compounds it is non ionic these two are for ionic only okay these two are ionic only the non ionic crystal non ionic crystals shows vacancy and interstitial uh, and the ionic shows scott key and frankel okay let us discuss about this thing uh, okay comes to the stoichiometric defects stoichiometric defect is also known as intrinsic or thermodynamic defect okay intrinsic you already studied about what is intrinsic and extrinsic things in uh, thermodynamics so same word stoichiometric defect is also uh, known as thermodynamical thermodynamic means it is heat dependent uh, mainly the uh, missing up of particle take place the missing take place because of the change in the temperature okay therefore the word thermodynamic is used uh, the first type of stoichiometric defect is vacancy defect what is vacancy defect in a crystallography or study of crystal it is known as crystallography uh, vacancy is the type of a point defect vacancy is a type of point defect or uh, under point defect it is a stoichiometric defect a defect in which an atom is missing from one of the lattice site is known as vacancy defect okay i'm consider one diagram in this part uh, these are the this sphere or circles are the representation of particles or atoms so we already know that vacancy defect is non ionic that means it is atomic crystal atomic crystal covalent crystals are there okay the covalent are two types uh, atomic crystals uh, types of crystallines study atomic crystal atoms 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 so these are the atoms uh, there is no ions in this case atoms missing defects in which atom is missing from one of the lattice site okay these are the atom 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 due to change in the temperature or pressure atoms are missing then it is known as vacancy defect or vacancy created uh, what happens when uh, vacancy created or missing up of atom take place density of the crystal decreases okay density decreases because missing up of the particle mass decreases mass decreases so therefore density is mass by volume mass decreases therefore density decreases volume remains same okay volume remains same next is interstitial defect interstitial defect is another type of stoichiometric defect when some constituent particles it may be atoms or molecule occupy an interstitial site the crystal is said to have interstitial defect this defect increases the density of sorry this uh, defect uh, does not affect the density of the crystal okay in this 
uh, type of defect density remains same why uh, clearly observe what is interstitial defect before that what is interstitial the interstitial word it is arises because the interstitial means the vacant or voids between the particles between the particles what are the spaces are there this is spaces empty space this empty space is known as interstitial site interstitial site okay interstitial site is vacant vacant site okay vacant site so this is the empty space empty space the empty space of the particles or the crystal is known as interstitial site the interstitial site empty space is occupied by when some constituent particle suppose one constituent particle this one particles present in this part it moves towards interstitial site particle present in this area moves towards interstitial site particle suppose one particle is there come to this place and cover taking the interstitial site then it is known as interstitial defect clearly observe in this diagram okay i'm consider a different colored okay yes the interstitial one particle one atom atom moves from this side to this side interstitial site so dislocation take place okay location is changed such type of defect is known as interstitial also atoms or molecule occupy an interstitial site the crystal is said to interstitial defect in this case mass remains same volume remains same density the remains same density remains same there is no change in the density okay uh, mass and volume of the crystal remains same okay let us uh, go to the uh, study about study of uh, another type of defect that one is scott key defect okay according to exam point of view this one is very 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 important concept scott key and frankel defect it is for ionic crystal whatever we discussed in the last part vacancy and interstitial so these are for non ionic crystal uh, non ionic crystal it is for non ionic scott key and frankel for ionic crystal scott key defect is observed in ionic crystal it is similar as similar as that of the vacancy defect okay, it is similar to vacancy defect It is equal to vacancy defect but the change thing is it should be ions it is observed in ions okay uh, then what is the definition of scott key defect first we uh, are going to looking about the definition a scott key defect is a type of point defect in a crystal ionic crystal uh, if uh, an ionic crystal of the type a plus b minus it is a ionic crystal uh, equal number of cation and anions are missing from let i said this is the very important thing equal number of cation and anions are missing from the let i side so that electrical neutrality remains same okay in this case density of the crystal decreases density of the because of missing missing of a particle take place missing up of the particle means mass decreases mass of the crystal decreases when mass decreases density is directly proportional to mass therefore density also decreases very important density of the crystal decreases okay just we observe uh, the how this uh, how this uh, scott key defect is uh, taking place i am show the one uh, uh, lattice crisp, uh, piece it is made up of a sodium and chloride ion sodium chloride crystal okay it is sodium chloride crystal uh, clearly observe this uh, crystal 
uh, when a loss of one ion and another ion opposite charged ion take place so these are create the vacancy one ion sodium ion is missing from this side chloride ion is missing from this side sodium chloride is missing so this create the vacancy vacant space is created correct vacant space is created in this two site the equal number one sodium and one chloride suppose two sodium then two chloride anywhere from the crystal okay uh, three sodium then three chloride so equal number of sodium and chloride in this case one sodium and one chloride ion is missing there is a possibility of missing of of two sodium suppose two sodium is missing two chloride is missing three chloride sodium is missing simultaneously three chloride is missing ratio remains same ratio remains same okay ratio remains same therefore density of the crystal decreases electrical neutrality is remains same or remained as a as similar as that of the earlier solid so before the defect or uh, uh, what type of uh, uh, electrical neutrality is the same type of the electrical neutrality is observed after the defect scott key defect is uh, just missing of of equal number of cation and anion from the lattice site very very important then uh, in what type of solid we observe this type of defect or example example is sodium chloride and agcl silver chloride agbr agbr shows this type of defect okay sodium chloride agcl agbr so in all the cases the size of the cation just observe the size of the cation and anion size of cation sodium and the size of anion nearly same okay size of cation and anions when it become nearly same or ionic radii of cation and anion ionic radii the difference in the ionic radii is very 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 small in such type of ionic crystal we observe the scott key defect okay this is the this defect uh, was explained by the scientist scott key therefore the name is scott key defect next uh, frankel defect or it is also known as dislocation defect frankel defect or dislocation defect frankel the word it is arises because of the name of the scientist okay the frankel uh, defect uh, is also known as dislocation defect it's a type of point defect the defect forms when cation or smaller ion leaves its normal place normal site uh, to in a normal place in the lattice to uh, vacancy site vacancy site is also known as interstitial site it is also known as interstitial site so it is therefore it is similar to interstitial defect okay it is similar to interstitial defect interstitial defect okay so because uh, in the interstitial defect also we observe the moment of the ion in this case also the one smaller ion smaller ion one smaller ion moves its side to interstitial side so these are the interstitial site these are the empty space empty space interstitial site okay the moment of the cation because cation is smaller compared to anion in ionic solids so therefore cation or the smaller ion moves leaves means it moves from that area okay moves from its normal site to uh, interstitial site then it is known as frankel defect in this case density remains same because there is no missing up of the particle just 
clipping of the particle yes it is dislocation take place therefore density remains same and this defect is observed in the crystal has uh, large difference in the ionic radii smaller cation bigger anion so then only it creates vacant space large vacant space is created then only possible to movement of the cation or smaller ion yes okay clearly understand the concept frankel defect is dislocation dislocation means movement of the one ion movement is take place only when uh, when it is possible there is a empty area or empty space is present then only movement is possible so for example in your class there is a one empty bench then only you can jump from one bench to another or that empty bench so similarly the empty a place interstitial site is occupied by the smaller ion due to change in the pressure or temperature such type of defect when we observed in any crystal or the solids then we call it as a frankel defect okay dislocation take place example for this uh, defect is zn o zinc blend it is known as zinc blend zinc zns sorry zinc blend is zns okay and zinc zn zinc oxide zinc sulfide and agbr uh, remember that the one thing uh, is agbr agbr shows both frankel and uh, scott key defect okay both scott key and frankel defect is observed in agbr suppose temperature changed during the crystallization of agbr it shows scott key okay it shows scott key suppose pressure is change then it shows frankel okay so agbr represent both type of uh, defect the very important concept is distinguish between the okay just observe how frankel defect is observed in this crystal okay uh, please uh, concentrated on this one zinc ox zinc zn2 this ion moves its uh, place to interstitial site okay interstitial site where inter where the interstitial site is there okay this is the interstitial site so it moves any one side okay clearly observe zinc oxide or uh, uh, in the zinc oxide zn2 plus ion zn2 plus it moves from its side to normal position to interstitial side so early it is present in this area it moves from this side to interstitial position so therefore the smaller ion leaves its normal position normal place in the lattice creating vacancy and vacant space is created in this part vacant space space and becomes an interstitial it become interstitial large lodging in the near location okay this is the uh, frankel defect okay very important concept uh, is difference between the scott key and frankel defect very 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 important for your annual exam point of view it's very important it is a two marks question okay very important uh, please take the screenshot of this difference very important there are three important difference are noticed the first difference is scott key defect is missing of of equal number of cation and anion from its lattice site okay it's a equal number of cation and anion sir missing what happens in frankel it is just moment cation moves from normal position to interstitial site okay we already observed uh, in the uh, study of the scott key and frankel defect the same thing is observed next is uh, defect observed in ionic crystal in which cation and anions radii is nearly same okay cation and anion has same uh, size then only scott key defect is observed then what happens in frankel defect frankel defect observed in the ionic crystal in which cation and anions has large difference in the ionic radii okay one ion is smaller and another one ion is bigger then only 
Frankel defect is observed. Otherwise, it shows the same crystal shows Scott key. Sodium chloride, AgCl shows Scott key. And Jadeno, zinc, uh, sulfide shows Frankel. Okay. Uh, what happens in uh, what happens the density in Scott key defect? Density of the crystal decreases because mass is decreases missing take place missing means evaporation the particle evaporated vacant is created volume remains same mass decreases therefore density of the crystal decreases in scott key and uh, density of the crystal remains same in frankel defect there is no missing up of the particle okay just take the screenshot and um, recall the concept of difference between the scott key and frankel it is very important for your annual exam point of view okay the another another two defect is remains remained the one is um, non stoichiometry and impurity these two part will be discussed in the next video thank you for watching this video and please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon to get early notification thank you once again